Every year, BC doctors and nurses volunteer with Health for Humanity. They perform hundreds of life-changing surgeries for disadvantaged people in Guatemala. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, more volunteers are needed for this year. Good morning, Grecian. Are you ready? Good morning, Dr. Gray. Ready for a day? Sure am. Dr. Jason Gray and operating room nurse Brecian Holmes Slattery spend their day helping people. How many uh, are we doing today? I think we've got four cases. But in addition to surgeries here, these Victoria healthcare workers also volunteer with Health for Humanity. Lots of smiling faces. Everybody's having a good time knowing they're doing good work. Donating their time to help disadvantaged people in Guatemala every November. And we're down there, we fill six operating rooms each day and of those we have two plastic surgery operating rooms uh, doing cleft lip and palate. We have general surgery, uh, gynecology, orthopedic and then urology. For many of the patients they operate on, the surgeries are life-changing. They're able to go back to work and um, you know, help the local economy more and provide for their families. The biggest thing is seeing the gratitude uh, in the faces, especially for me doing cleft lip and palate, the mums when their kid comes back from the operating room uh, with a new smile. Uh, it's, that's what you really have this feeling of, we've done something useful and important. Dr. Gray is the medical lead for Health for Humanity, and this November will be his 10th year helping out. A team can come and can set up and in two weeks can do close to 400 surgeries at a fraction of the cost that it would, you know, to do it here. Um, you know, it's, that's a wonderful feeling. Since Health for Humanity's first surgical mission in 2002, it's provided care for more than 3,000 people in Guatemala and the Philippines. And surgeries aren't the only way these volunteers help. Health for Humanity also fundraises for ceramic water filters and menstrual products and sponsors a school at a coffee plantation. Only the kids, when they're nine years old, they get put out on the coffee fields. They don't get schooling. And so we've worked together with this uh, uh, coffee plantation to develop a school and fund that. Volunteers, uh, both uh, anesthesia, surgery, nursing. Nurses and doctors, including GPs who can assist in the OR, are still needed for this year, and these veteran volunteers can't say enough about it. It's very rewarding to be able to use my knowledge and skills in a place that it's very much um, needed. Being able to give back uh, and, and although it's a bit of a cliche, you, you get so much out of being down there. I mean, the people are so lovely. It's, it's just fulfilling in every way. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.